Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Jason, and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so as we're all aware, Tesla stock is down a little bit, and that is to do with Tesla not hitting their um, projections with the deliveries of their vehicles, and as well as some SEC drama over some tweets that Elon Musk has made. So I decided earlier this year that I was not going to invest in the Tesla for anything more than $300 a share. So the stock being at its current prices has worked out very good for my investment strategies. Uh, so I thought earlier this week that the um, Tesla was going to go above $300. Uh, that was on, what, Wednesday, I think. It was at $295 a share. And then, you know, then Thursday the stock dropped even more. And it worked out really perfectly for me. And I am just averaging in every day uh, while it's down below 300 uh, just to get it at different price points. Now, I, I also invest in a lot of other things. That's why I don't just go all into Tesla while it's down. Uh, I am I look at Tesla as like kind of like my speculative stock, my, my more risk-to-reward stock. Uh, so I keep up with my blue-chip stocks. Uh, a lot of the, the couple REITs that I want to invest into, the ETFs. And of course, you know, I like to put money into my different retirement savings accounts. So with Tesla being at its current price and the analysts saying whatever they're saying, you know, bad this or whatever about Tesla, uh, I'm still actually more bullish now, April 2019, than I've ever been into Tesla. Uh, because last year, I was paying the same amount for Tesla stock as I am now. And last year, we were wondering how well the Model 3 was going to do. Um, but, you know, since then, we got groundbroken in China for the new uh, Gigafactory. We have the Model Y coming out uh, here eventually. We have, uh, we're closer to getting the Tesla semi-truck. We have a lot more charge stations put all over the place. Uh, and, you know, a lot better quick chargers everywhere. Um... And Tesla has sold a lot more vehicles, and not only that, a lot of the cars that they have sold now, they're going to eventually have their warranty expire, which means Tesla is going to have, going to eventually start doing maintenance on all these vehicles and have to charge the customer. So there's a lot to come in the works. You know, we're also, also parts and everything too, where a lot of these auto companies do make a lot of their money. So we got the charge stations, we got the parts, we got the maintenance, we got, you know, the semi truck, we got the Model Y, we got you know, possibly a pickup truck soon. So there is a lot to actually be bullish on. And as well, if they can dominate the Chinese market, that's also going to be a big thing. And whatever they do in Europe. So there's a lot of new things this year than there were last year. And the stock is the same price as it was last year. So now you're probably wondering, if I'm so bullish on Tesla, why did I set a max that I'm willing to buy into it at? And the reason for that is, if you look at the 52-week high and you look at the 52-week low, we're closer to the 52-week low. And the 52-week high is basically there because of hype. That was when uh, Elon Musk was sending tweets that got him in trouble that really pumped up that stock a bit. So um, the stock has had more history below 300 than it has above 300. Now, I definitely do uh, hope and I do see project that the stock will go above that. Um, but uh, the thing is, it, when it goes above that and it's more, and it, uh, it stays there more safe, then I'll definitely uh, eventually raise that max that I'm willing to buy into it. But until then, the stock has been a lot more comfortable below $300, and that's just why I set that uh, that max that I'm willing to buy into it. And I also want to say that I'm not one of those uh, investors into Tesla that think. That in the um, in the next couple of years it's going to go five to ten times its value. Um, I'm very much the type of investor that just wants to make money off the stock, uh, and that being if the uh, stock was to go say past its current 52-week high above $400, I will just continue to ride that stock until um, there were signs that it might just slow down and dip back down. Uh, that would be when I would probably just get out and buy into it at a much lower price because that's basically the history of Tesla stock. I've noticed it goes up and it goes back down. Uh, so that's going to be my play on it. Uh, so anyways, I'll just leave the video right there. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. I talk about different investing things and dividend investing and such. 
Uh, so please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.